Yes, yes, massive and crew. I'm not using the camcorder. A few people uh, have. WAV is a much bigger file. Uh, FLAC sort of takes up half of the space um, and the compression is lossless. So that way you get the original um, file sound um, from the DAT recording. It's the same as WAV, it's just a lot smaller. But the difference is, is it doesn't play on iTunes. Um, it doesn't play on quite a few uh, media players, I believe. So uh, I know it plays pretty well on VLC player. Uh, without any problems I've done that many a times before uh, so it might be worth you downloading VLC player if you don't want to go through the conversion process um, also not actually sure if you can burn it to CD um, straight from a flat file uh, comment down below um, and let me know if anybody's had any experience doing that um, also um, I just wanted to say um, that it's probably better to convert with say Adobe Audition um, or um, what's the other um, program? Um, Audigy is another good program or probably I would say Wavelab. So without further ado, uh, let's get straight into it. So basically we would go to batch process and that loads up. It's loading up on another screen at the moment and as you can see you'll be confronted with this screen here and it says to drag and drop files there right so basically I would then go to because I'm going to do the common people dat yeah so I'd go to here grab all the files that I need uh, obviously not these XMP files because they come from um, Adobe uh, or dish uh, not, not yeah they go they come from um, Adobe Audition, it's like kind of uh, information files that it leaves behind. So get all the flat files. There we go. Get all those right. They're all there. Yep. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag them in. But before we do that, uh, let's just drag one just to see, just to save time and just see. So as we can see, the sample rate is 48K. Now, if you're planning on burning that back to CD, uh, you would need that to be 44K because CD is 44.1. So you would go to your export settings, right? And you can put like a prefix um, on the actual sample. Um, now, that's a prefix would be like the, on, on the file name. So you, you'd basically change the file name of the sample um, and add something before it or after the first letters of that sample so it would be instead of it being uh satisfied it'd be 24 bit satisfied let's say for argument's sake so for now we're just going to keep it the same yeah so let's try keeping it the same and see what we get with that right so let's go to here uh we don't we do want a prefix because i reckon by putting a prefix um we would be um, not overwriting the file but another way around that would be to go to here let's just go to the archive um, drive that I've got here go to here that archives come on people that and then let me just make a new folder and call it WAV version so I do that pop that in there hit choose button and then we don't need to have this prefix anymore then in that case uh, because it's going to be just a WAV now. So it's going to be WAV, yeah. Now, I'm going to try leaving this one as is. So it says close file upon completion. Let's not do that because we want to experiment a bit here. So we're going to do that. Common people, that Same file as location. No, we don't want to do that. Overwrite existing files. We don't want to do that. Uh, source is 24-bit. So it's 24-bit. Um, is it 24-bit? It says it's 24-bit. Yeah, it is. Okay. Right. So let's change this now to new sample type. I think this is 16 bit because it's coming from WAV. It's 16 bit. Um, those days were 16 bit. So we've got enable divering. Uh, let's turn that on. Leave everything as default. 
and then click OK. Now let's see what happens. After that, we press Run. Go into our WAV version file, and now we have a WAV version. Now let's press this and see if it works. There you go. Now. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so let's go to this file here now. Open it with VLC player. Oops, wrong program. Great. So let's go back to here, VLC. Get rid of that. We want to get rid of that, that program. All right. Restart playback. Just get rid of this Yate program. So that's the original, right? And this is the converted file. Yeah, all good to go. So we're taking that from 24 bit to 16 bit. So that's looking lovely, jovely. I'm going to remove selected files. And I'm now going to go back here. And I'm going to grab all of the flat files now. We're going to go for the big convert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's why I like this batch conversion thing because it literally converts them all without you having to fart around with it. And then you just go to your export settings, same as before, 48K. Okay, so we've done that 48K 16 bit. Okay, so that's one way of doing it the only thing is we we're leaving at 48k wavs now if you wanted to burn them on cd we, we're going to show you how to do that in a second so i'm literally going to hit the um what do you call it overwrite existing files because remember there was one file in there that we did before yeah so i'm going to hit that and i'm going to do that now bosh and then go run sorry yep there we go so that's all going to go through the conversion process as you can see where it's all orange here it's doing all the convert conversions and converting them back to WAV. Sneak peek in our WAV folder. As you can see, it starts making all of the WAV files in there and converting all of these to WAVs. Now, what we're going to try next is bringing them to 16-bit because if you wanted to burn these on CD, I believe that you would have a bit of a problem uh, because the pitch of the sample could uh, pitch of the actual uh, WAV file could actually change and we don't want that so let's see now so that's all converted as you can see um it's put its sort of information files um so it loads faster if you load up audition ag uh, again but um i don't i don't keep this file i just delete them it's not really worth anything let's just get rid of that for us now we don't need that for this process right so that's all out the way right the next batch conversion we're going to try now is we are going to try 16 bit WAVs. Sorry, not 16 bit, 44 1 WAVs, yeah? So let's see what happens now. So we make a 44 1 folder, export settings. Now, we probably want to do this with just one again because it takes a little while to convert loads, yeah? Uh, so let's go to here, let's go to change, and now. We're going sample type 16 bit. We need to change that from 48k. Right, where is where do we change that now? Uh, uh, not there. Sample rate, that's the one we want. So we're going to change this to 44.1. And we want to put the quality at 100% because we don't want it to change at all. Uh, pre post filter, I have no idea what that is. Anyone know? Comment down below. Uh, let's see, Diva enabled, I guess. Yeah, didn't leave all that the same. Now, let's see what happens. I want to see if the pitch of the um, WAV changes. Because sometimes that happens, right? I've seen that before. Right, so we're going 44 1, 16 bit, yeah, which is for CD, uh, two channels, 16 bit, WAV uncompressed, 16 bit integer. Click OK, Bosch and run as you can see this one seems to be moving a bit slower so there must be some changes going on here let's have a look here we go there's our file 
Now let's play this back now and see what it sounds like. Sounds fine to me. And the difference between um, a 16-bit WAV is you've got that one at 54K. Let's go back to the mashup here. So it's mashup, mashup, mashup. Where is it? Mashup. There we go. Yep. So that's 58. So it's 59, that one. Mashup, edit. Mashup, edit, 54. So it's a bit smaller. So guys, that's all we got time for today. Uh, if you want to see me do the same process in WaveLab or in Order G, uh, please comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace.